Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We recently did a basement waterproofing job using the Hydroway waterproofing system. Now, for those of you out there that do not know this, we actually offer the Hydroway product on our DIY store. And did you know you can DIY your own basement as well? I know we've talked a lot about uh, doing your own crawl space, but also if you have a wet basement and you can't find a local contractor that that uh, you feel could do a good job for you. We are making the Hydroway system available for you that want to DIY your basement waterproofing project as well. And of course, if you're near a Crawl Space Ninja and you'd like for us to uh, start waterproofing your basement, we obviously can do that too. Here in Knoxville, we've been waterproofing basements for many years. We don't really talk about it very often on our YouTube channel, but it is one of the things that we offer uh, using the Hydroway system. We we are very pleased with how well this system moves water to the basin to get that basement dry very, very quickly. As a matter of fact, Delaware and uh, Charlotte are already installing basement waterproofing. We've got Columbus, Georgia doing it as well. So if you are in need of a basement waterproofing dry out or something like that where you've got foundation water coming in or perhaps it's floating up from the slab, uh, call Crawl Space Ninja. We can certainly help you out with that basement waterproofing project. But take a look at these ninjas installing the hydroway system in this basement here in Knoxville, Tennessee. So this is how the hydroway comes uh, whenever we ship it to you. If, uh, if you decide to do this as a DIY project, this is how it comes. And then you can roll it out. Normally you want to take it and you want to double it up. It moves a lot of water when you're able to double it up like this. So it's a very, very good product to use. Um, in a rare instance, if you needed to lay it flat, you could possibly lay it flat. It's gonna move a lot of water that way too, but the manufacturer recommends that you double it up and put it in vertically. Now keep in mind, this can be installed in either a crawl space or a basement. Uh, in a crawl space, the methodology of installation is a little different. It doesn't have to go below a slab, obviously, like we do here. So um, in a crawl space, you can just have it at the surface of the uh, crawl space. And then uh, that way all the water, you're only dealing with water under the plastic. Where in this situation, we're going to have plastic up this wall. So that way, if this wall is holding water, it's going to hit the plastic and then be forced down into the trench. One of the cool things about the Hydroway is that you could actually install it at the footer or as we've done here at the cove joint. So that way you could capture the water as it comes in. It requires very little excavation. They've obviously had to pull out quite a bit of material in this corner here. Normally corners are uh, difficult uh, to work around, but you can see it does very well. You just put it in vertically just like we've done here. Uh, you've got the ability for the weep holes along the wall and then all this gravel and all of this can actually be put right back into the hole so you don't have to go and buy new gravel. You don't have to actually use gravel with the Hydroway product. If this was mud, this is a newer home so they put a lot of gravel under the slab but with older homes that have uh, clay or mud or something like that, you could just put that clay and uh, mud right back on the hydroway without an issue and then all of this is going to run all the way flattens out right here but they're going to take care of that it's going to run all the way to our sump pump basin there and as you can see we got the weep holes in that area and then we're going to pour all of it right back uh, so the slab we're going to be able to get our minimum three to four inches in all of these areas now another thing i want you to notice is that they painted this wall all right, for those of you that are thinking about painting your basement wall, this wall was painted and we still have water intrusion into this basement. So paint is very ineffective. It may work temporarily, but it is a band-aid that normally has to be corrected later. So it's better just to go ahead and install a full perimeter, if you can, basement waterproofing system to correct these situations. Um, this is even a pretty good paint. Looks like they put it on correctly. Uh, it's even got a little bit of sand in it as I can feel, it's a bit gritty. Uh, looks like it was installed very well, but it did not fix the problem. And then over here they had steps that they had to remove in order to uh, get the waterproofing 
behind the steps. So you're going to have a lot of obstacles in a basement, uh, probably more in a basement than you would in a crawl space. You can see there's the steps. So you're going to have to work around a lot of these. But this hydroway system is fantastic. Uh, as far as we know, there have been zero fail rates with this product in the field. It's been used mainly in sports arenas for uh, moving water away from football fields, baseball fields, golf courses. It's great for also waterproofing or, or doing uh, exterior water management like uh, French drains and uh, things like that in the, uh, in the yards. It's great for also any type of retainer walls and things of that nature. So this is a very, very good product. We hope you'll check it out on our DIY store. Let us know if you need help installing it and uh, we'll certainly help you out.